Ah! Uh -huh. 
and to show God that I know I've gone through a lot today. And I know I've had a lot on my plate, but I can still lift up my hands. I may got stuff going on in my mind and in my heart, but you know what? I yield myself and I'm like, I want you. If it's me, God, I want you to just go ahead and just deal with me. If it's me, God, if I've been holding on to something here, my hands are empty. Take it out, God. Come on, I wonder right now if we can just if we can just surrender to the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, if you got something to hide, I'm sorry. But right now, this is the moment you can surrender in the presence of the Lord. This is a safe place. Oh, this is a moment right there where you can yield and say, God, I've been mad, I've been angry, I've been upset, I've been bitter. I don't have the answers, but right now, you're worthy of my surrender. You're the devil's surrender. Moses sent me, 
as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. Whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in the day how the Anakims were there, and the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. And, jo and Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. The name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. With the help of the Holy Ghost tonight, I want to preach holy faith. W-H-O-L-L-Y. Yeah. Holy faith. Holy is defined as full or entire extent of. Completely, even, heartily, altogether, and totally. I don't know about you tonight, but I've got holy faith. I've got holy faith. Do you have holy faith tonight? Come on, there's some of us tonight. I, I know your faith might be a little broken. To, but when you leave this place tonight, you're going to have entire faith. Come on. Hallelujah. I wish somebody would help me. Somebody in this place tonight. Hallelujah. The enemy has been magnifying you. 
they would have had a revelation, hallelujah, that they had the advantage. He didn't, he didn't want, he didn't growl, draw all the men together to devise some kind of tactic plan. He, he didn't bring all the people together to see what they thought. He just sealed the people and said, hey, God, let's just go ahead and possess it. Let's not even talk about it anymore. Let me tell you, there's some of us in this place, you can talk yourself out of a good old miracle. You can talk yourself you can talk yourself out of the stability that God wants to give you. All because of that stinking thinking. Hallelujah. But let me tell you tonight, it's time for you to get your mind right. And it's time tonight for you to stop having a conversation with the enemy. Having a conversation with the problem. And get up and start possessing everything that God has for you. It's time for you to start possessing the peace that it's time for you, hallelujah, to start possessing the joy unspeakable and full of glory. It's time for you, hallelujah, to lay your head down at night and stop roaming around in fear, worry, and chaos. And say that there's a God that loves me. There's a God that'll take care of me. There's a God that'll pull me through to the end. It was, it was the report hear this tonight you gotta watch out who's around you uh, you gotta watch who you get ear to you're gonna talk like, you're gonna talk back to me like you've been saved your whole life huh? it, it, it's the faithless it's the faithless faithless that'll pervert your vision of the inheritance hear me tonight it's the faithless it's the voice of the faithless that will pervert your vision of your inheritance it's your inheritance. What is that inheritance? It's heaven to gain and a hell to shun. My inheritance, hallelujah, is on the other side of glory. And I refuse to allow some backslider to talk me out of it. I refuse to allow my problem, hallelujah, to get so rough where I feel like I can't inherit it. I refuse to look at everything through the lens of defeat, hallelujah, because there's a God that's greater. That's greater, and he is on your side. Whose side are you on tonight? Oh, the Holy Ghost. Whose side are you on tonight? Are you on the side of the skeptic? Oh, Jesus, that only can report while their hands are full of blessing, while they're in God, while they've seen mercy in their life, while they've seen God pull them out. Hallelujah, situations. Are you the one? Are you, hallelujah, yoked up with the skeptic? Hallelujah, that though their life may be preserved, it just wasn't good enough. I'm so sick of Debbie Downers and Captain Pentecostals. You got to get around some folk that are kingdom minded like you, that have holy faith, that have the faith in its entirety, and not just part of it. Let me tell you, you're in a church tonight that's filled of holy faith. Hallelujah. We live this night day in and day out. It's not just a weekend apostolic. Hallelujah. Or a party in Pentecost. I'm telling you tonight, you're in the place where people are built upon their most holy faith. We pray in the Holy Ghost, and we speak the mind and the will of God each and every day. think it takes all that. Come on. And you give ear to it. Come on. And you start wandering for 40 years. Come on. I, I, I just don't think you have to go to the altar. I don't think you have to lift your hands. I don't think it takes all that tear, that tear jerking. I don't think it takes all that speaking in tongues while all the while you're walking around. Hallelujah. In desolate places and in dry places for tears. 20, 30, 40 years, hallelujah, wondering where God's at when you could have found him on a Wednesday night. When you could have had the spirit of Caleb and said, you know what, I'm sick and tired of hearing all the mess. I'm sick and tired of living in the fields. I'm sick and tired of walking in the faithlessness. Let me go and possess what God has for me. Let me go and possess the Holy Ghost. Let me go and possess Hallelujah. The 
opportunity for great victory was robbed through the optics of great opposition. Hear that tonight. You have an opportunity for something great in the Holy Ghost. But it's going to come. It's got to be the way that you look at it. Hallelujah. David, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. David was standing before Goliath. And when everybody else was hiding, hallelujah, when everybody else was afraid to fight the giant, there was a David, hallelujah, that heard the stories of old. There was a David, hallelujah, that knew the Lord their God was a provider. There was a David that sent this uncircumcised Philistine and sick here spewing its guilt. Hallelujah. And you're listening to it. What's wrong with you? Let me go get a sink and let me go get a stone. The same way that I killed the bear, the same way that I killed the lion, I'll go ahead and take out this uncircumcised Philistine. It's time for you to get a sink and a stone out and tell that depression you're not allowed to stay here.
and they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which was passed through, hallelujah, to search it, is an exceeding good land. It's a good land. And if the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us. A land that floweth with milk and honey. Only rebel not ye against the Lord. Only rebel not ye against the Lord. And neither fear ye the people of the land. But they are bred for us. Their defense is departed from them. And the Lord is with us. Fear them not. God's people. I'm preaching to somebody tonight. You need to stop fearing the circumstance. And start believing that God will pull you through it. What do you do when your faith is weak? What do you do? Hallelujah, when you feel like you've lost all faith and you've lost all hope. But what do you do? First thing you do, hallelujah, and just stop listening to the voice of the enemy. That's the first thing you need to shut on the yes. mouth of the giant right. oak that stands before you. The land was full of anakins. The land was full of giants. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, the second thing you need to do is look beyond the giants and say, ha, if this is the land God promised me, ain't no devil in hell going to stand up. Take somebody, sipping out and saying, I'm not going to. 
faithfulness. Man, you can just come and go as you please. But the Lord did your time to that thing. There's an investment. When are you going to start investing into the kingdom? So the children, mm, yeah. God, so the children can start to reap the benefits of the inheritance. Because you serve, because you say, hallelujah, there's a whole other generation that needs, hallelujah, that needs a generation before them to say, you know what? I refuse to wander around, hallelujah, flippantly and in fear. But I, hallelujah, I know that there's an inheritance and I've got holy faith in its entirety that no matter how bad it looks and no matter how bad it sounds, I'm staying planted. Oh, is that holy faith? Now, the land of inheritance has been overtaken. Fast forwarding in Joshua. He's got the reins now. The children of Israel prospered. They slipped up every once in a while. But they prospered under Joshua. And it was time to divide up the land. And Caleb stood there. He said, let me tell you, I'm older than everybody else here. Oh, yeah. ah. And I've been staying here. Uh, I've been sticking to it. I've been fighting a good fight of faith. And I know I'm stronger than I was when I first saw the, the land. Give me my mountain. Yeah. And I think it's, oh, I think it's wonderful to think, ooh, this is for somebody tonight. That the, the mountain that he took, Hebrew, the Anakims used to run around there. Yeah. The giants used to run up and down through, through that mountain. Yeah. And he said, hey, give me that one. Because if there's any more giants in there, if there's any more giants in there, I'm going to run them out too. Let me tell you, there's a place that God wants to take you as an individual and wants to take your family. Hallelujah. And it's time for you to possess it. But you also need to realize that I'm taking ownership of what God is doing in my life right now. And come here with hot water. No, this is my mountain. No, this is my this is my promise, no. You can't have my kids, no. You can't have my marriage, no. I'm not throwing in the towel, no. I fought too long for this. I thought I stood when everybody else ran. I stood the test of time. Give me my mountain. I want my mountain. You gotta understand the place Hebron that he inherited place of great battles, great victory, but it was a place of great faith. Who was buried there? Uh, Abraham, buried there. Isaac, Jacob in Hebron. Rebecca and Leah, mm, buried there in Hebron. Hallelujah. In the inheritance of Caleb. What else happened there? David was crowned king by Judah there in Hebron and spent his first seven years there in a place of great faith. Let me tell you tonight, if you want to possess anything, hallelujah, possess this tonight, a holy faith that will get you a holy hill of great faith, hallelujah, where you can have a lineage that runs throughout your God, throughout your bloodline of great faith. So your kids can say, I know I remember that Wednesday night when mama and daddy prayed through that true way and there was great faith. I'm going to have that same great faith that grandma and grandpa did on that Wednesday night when they went to that altar and they prayed through to the Holy Ghost. I saw my kids have great faith when they prayed through in the altar and that's the kind of faith I want. Holy faith. Faith in its entirety. You need to stop living. You need to stop living, hallelujah, a little piece of faith. Because when it's a piece of faith, uh, I know I'm taking up too much time. But when it's a piece of faith, uh, and it doesn't hold much weight to you, you're less willing to fight for that little piece of ground. Come on. 
give the Lord praise. Thank you, Lord. Next day she was pinching her cousin. So I know she did. 